días, este, representante Lake. Hi, good morning, representative. Esta mañana es la tercera vez que tengo el gusto de saludarlos. So, today, this morning is like the third time. Hoy, I'm going to ask you 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 to ask Quizás el terror que sintió su mujer. But maybe that moment when, when your wife felt uncomfortable and felt afraid. Es el terror que siente toda la gente. It's the, it's the horror that people, that all people who are undocumented feel here every single day. Hace tres años tuve el gusto de ir a Washington D.C. por segunda vez. I went to Washington D.C. three years ago. Con el señor Grayley. With Mr. Grassley. Me mandó dos cartas. And I had two letters from him. En la primera me decía que él estaba de acuerdo en una... Este, una cosa de la que se and in the first one, he said that he, was, he agreed with something about immigration reform. And then in the second letter, and unfortunately, I don't have them with me right now. Uh, but if I could take them to your office, I, uh, I will bring them to you. Too. Él dijo yeah. que cuando llegó aquí, él dijo 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 que cuando llegó aquí, él Put the, he put his view. Uh, <laughs> and now he's saying that if there is no, if there is no spring border control, if these are always the same excuses that our representatives and these are all the excuses that representatives uh, and senators, both Democrats and Republicans, have always been given to any kind of legislation going forward. So my question is los, lo, la familia Bush, so the Bush, Bush family padre y hijo, the father and son cuando se hicieron presidentes, when they became president se reeleccionó el hijo, and when uh, Bush, was, Bush uh, Jr. was re-elected they had the support of uh, Latinos. Ustedes los republicanos. So you were probably a Democrat. Yo tengo orgullo de ser demócrata todo el tiempo que en Iowa. Because I'm, I'm proud to be a Democrat since I've been here in Iowa. Han querido siempre tapar o opacar a la gente hispana. So you Republicans have always wanted to put a, a, a cover over, over Latinos or over even Latinos. Por un problema o por otro siempre ponen pretextos. For one, one reason or another. Yo no tengo una pregunta. So my question is, si ustedes no llegan a obtener el voto latino, if you guys don't get la Casa Blanca no va a ser de vuelta con un presidente mexicano. Eso que ella no por seguro. ¿Sí? Very bad things are happening to people who are here about 
No, porque el mundo que está haciendo con la gente aquí. Gracias. Congressman, uh, I want to thank you on behalf of the Iowa Nebraska Equipment Dealers Associations and all of the stakeholders that are involved with the Farm Bill and the Renewable Fuel Standard. Um, I, just some recent information we've been sharing with our members of Congress and our elected officials. In 1981, we had over 700 farm equipment dealerships in the state of Iowa. And in 2001, we had less than 300. Um, just in Greene County alone, which I know you represent, in 1981, there were 17 farm equipment dealerships. Today, there's one dealership left. Um, that represented a lot of local investment in communities. A lot of small towns benefited from those jobs. Uh, they continue to still benefit from those jobs. In 2001 to, to today, we've had a net loss of less than 10 farm equipment dealerships in the state of Iowa. We, we attribute that to a number of different factors. One of those is the renewable fuel standard. And we've seen that the oil companies and other activists are trying to get rid of renewable fuels. We believe it's something that's helped Iowa weather our, the national economic downturn better than a number of other states outside the Corn Belt. And we feel that uh, it's something that we need to keep in place and continue to grow that industry. I just wanted to ask for your support in moving forward with that and ask you what you feel is we're going to be able to see accomplished yet possibly this year on the farm bill. Oh, I can do the farm bill at the end there. Yeah. 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 I know. No. Uh, obviously, I've been very, very supportive of the, of the standards and keeping those in place are absolutely critical for the uh, economy. And we talked about the jobs and the wind. Uh, feel there are thousands and thousands of jobs in, in alcohol and biodiesel and uh, really is a great value added product and environmentally and everything else that, uh, uh, that we need here and, and it does uh, Iowa you know and through this whole downturn in the economy nationally has withstood it very very well almost and is due in large part to a very strong ag economy and that ag economy has, has a lot to do with ethanol and, and uh, keeping the uh, commodity prices where they are. Uh, and so we've got to I, continue that at a reasonable level. Again, obviously it has impact on our livestock producers also. But on the farm bill, uh, I'm very unfortunately, as far as I'm concerned, separated the farm title from the nutrition section so that they could get something passed that we could go to with the Senate to do a, a, a conference so that we can bring back legislation that will actually pass the floor. There's going to be a, a, an attempt at least to do a nutrition title uh, on the farm bill to move that also just when we get back in September. Um, timing wise, I don't know, we have nine days in session in September. There's a lot of uh, Jewish holidays, a lot of stuff that really uh, limits the number of days that we're in session in September. We don't go back till the 9th. But uh, uh, I'm very hopeful that we can, can get the conference, come back, get the farm bill. The speaker is absolutely committed to get it done, to get it uh, finally accomplished. You've got to remember 20% uh, of the spending in the farm bill has anything to do with farms, 80% of it has to do with nutrition. Uh, and there's some you know, resistance to any kind of modest reform while the, the 20 percent is taking 20 billion dollars worth of spending reductions uh, the nutrition title in the proposed bill originally had about 20 billion the same only it's 80 percent of the spending uh, so, and that's that was too much for some people not enough for other people that's why it failed the first time but now i'm doing everything i can to push to finally get that resolved. So